what I think tends to happen is athletes see the results of low taking in limited amounts of fuel. They see the body composition improve. They see the weight drop. They see maybe some um, improvement in these performance parameters, maybe because of reduced weight. And then they get, oh, maybe if I lose more, maybe if I go further, maybe if yeah. I if I drop more fat, maybe if I don't eat as much here, I can continue to improve. And then you start to see those changes, you know, not just from a physical standpoint, but also a mental standpoint as well. And that's when I think if we're talking about soft tissue injuries and bone injuries, that's when it starts to occur.